Hey, hello, assalamu alaikum. I am Farooq Loan. So, if you remember, uh, in the last video, I told about the elements in a short story. This is for class nine. Uh, this story is prescribed in the tulip series of class nine. Uh, I'm talking about English textbook by J.K. Bose. So, for uh, class nine children, this is a uh, beautiful story in terms of narration and a painful one in terms of its theme. The name of this story is Old Man at the Bridge by Ernest Hemingway. So before going to the story, let's know something about Ernest Hemingway. This guy is Ernest Hemingway, uh, busy in writing something, uh, born in the year 1898 and died uh, 1961. So Ernest Hemingway, uh, was born in Oak Park, Illinois, USA in 19, uh, this is uh, his year of birth, 1898, starting his writing career as a reporter for the Kansas, Kansas uh, City Star newspaper. During his life as a soldier and correspondent, Hemingway wrote about the war, novels, short stories. So he has a first hand experiences in war because he was mostly uh, involved, uh, whether uh, be it uh, as a correspondent, be, be it as a soldier or a scout uh, during wars. So he has first-hand experiences uh, in wars. He worked in different countries uh, around the world, uh, like he worked in Italy during World War I, in China during a Japanese invasion, and he served England in World War II, and he was a correspondent, uh, correspondent Pardoned in uh, uh, Spanish Civil War here and this story also uh, is set uh, in Spain uh, where we are told that an old man was desperate uh, for his for his pet animals uh, as uh, uh, as he's uh, giving his account his experiences to this man uh, to this scout uh, the first uh, narrator in the story so this is uh, uh, Ernest Hemingway and Hemingway was awarded with silver medal okay a silver medal valor in World War I Pulitzer Prize for Literature in 1953 Nobel Prize for Literature in 1954 in uh, 2001 two of his books The Sun Also Rises and A Farewell Arms were named to the list of the 100 best books uh, in in English literature or 100 best English literature novels of the 20th century. So Hemingway was an exceptional writer. There's no doubt uh, for that. Bhoot ala kisam ke writer the aur bande ke paas itna achhi quality jo narration jisko hum bolte hain. Pure narration, jo skillful narration is bande ke paas itni thi and बैठे बैठे वो एक छोटे से इवेंट को वो ऐसी स्टोरी बना देता था तो इंसान दंग रह जाता था वो सुन के या वो पढ़ के एंड बिटवीन 19 ओके हियर ओके बिटवीन 1960 एंड 61 ही रिसीव ही रिसीव ट्रीटमेंट फॉर but this was unable to prevent his suicide. Alas, uh, he killed himself on July 2, 1961 at 5 a.m. in the morning. He died as a result of self-inflicted shotgun blast to the head because he was uh, uh, suffering from depression and paranoia. And this story, Old Man at the Bridge, uh, my intention was that I'll be telling you after we read the story, the things that I'll be telling you now like uh, the symbols that are used in the uh, story or the setting that are used in the story but uh, uh, to uh, to enjoy the story more when we will be reading the text of the story uh, will easily understood if we will uh, easily understand at that time if uh, we go go across uh, the symbols and the backdrop of that story so spanish civil war lasted for 3 years from 1936 to 1939 uh, the symbols in Hemingway's short story uh, will be this these you will come across so these pet animals and some other symbols in the story the goats uh, Hemingway has used uh, the goats in the story 
so they can symbol uh, symbolize something uh, it's uh, it's it depends upon you how you interpret those symbols i won't tell you the cat is another imagery or symbol in the story then we have pigeons and we have repetition there are some expressions and words um, that are spoken by this older man like uh, he is concerned about the animals and he uh, uh, time and again uh, repeats those animals because he is so much concerned he is so much uh, preoccupied uh, with his pet animals easter sunday easter sunday is a holiday of christians where they uh, commemorate uh, the resurrection of uh, jesus christ and then we have a grey or ghost uh, day uh, that symbolizes gloom death uh, devastation you can go on and on that this imagery and symbol is used in the story and uh, <clears throat> we have this old man a political neutral to the war um, who knows no boundaries uh, this uh, hemingway has used this old man as a protagonist along with himself in the story and this bridge um, bridge you know that this connects uh, two states uh, two communities two nations is used uh, in the story but ironically this bridge is um, uh, is seen as the division between the two uh, states here now setting uh, as i already told you the setting of the story is in spain during a spanish civil war that lasted for 3 years from 1936 to 1939 and character we have two characters in the story uh, the narrator that is the scout and the old man from the left side of your screen uh, okay old man and the scout these two characters are the protagonists the main characters around which the whole story revolves uh, they are uh, they are the main characters in the story so the old man he is major and protagonist character of the story so is uh, the scout major and protagonist character of the story he is round character and so is the scout he is dynamic and so is uh, the scout old man um, the narrator uses showing the dialogue techniques the narrator uses showing and uh, showing, uh, sh showing and dialogue techniques note uh, and antagonist uh, the work of antagonist uh, antagonist is uh, given is given to the setting the villain uh, the negative character setting uh, plays its role here and it's the setting that plays the negative role here um, plays as an antagonist in the story so again uh, we'll be uh, going through the plot i have already told you that uh, usually uh, the plot of the story is based on a triangular um, you know uh, triangular di diagram in this diagram there is exposition rising action climax falling action and resolution resolution a resolution uh, you can also call it as denoma plot exposition when the scout meets the old man here uh, exposition is uh, exposition means the introduction when we are introduced to the characters in the story when the scout meets the old man ask uh, who who is uh, from and uh, does he has a family then we have rising action when the scout and the old man are talking about the animals uh, and uh, third thing is climax the climax occurs when the narrator looked back uh, looked back and saw no cards at the bank uh, this is the point of the story where the old man's life was determined the other refugees had left to the other side of the bridge while the old man remained where he was तो जो जंग चल रही थी सारे लोग जो क्लाइमैक्स है यहाँ पे वो ब्रिज को अब एम दिखा रहा है क्योंकि सारे लोग अब जा चुके हैं सेफर एरियाज की तरफ यहाँ पे जो स्टक हुआ है एक ओल्ड इंसान बिकॉज ऑफ सम अदर प्रे ऑक्यूपेशंस ये यहाँ पे क्लाइमैक्स है द द नरेटर दैट इज द स्काउट हेयर इन द स्टोरी insist uh, upon old man to leave uh, this uh, region as soon as possible because the fascists are uh, moving forward and then we have falling action uh, the soldier told him to get up and try to walk but sat down backwards in the dust and then we have dinoma here resolution you can call it by the end of it he realized that old man is not going to move 
and will probably die at the bridge. So this is the plot of the story. Then we have narrator point of view, first person narrator in the story. Uh, in the story, the narrator uses pronouns like I and me to tell the story. The narrator doesn't know everything in the story, non uh, omniscient. So narrator is not uh, actually everywhere in the story. He doesn't know the background of the old man there. At some point of the story, the narrator gets confused when the old man tells something to him. Then we have dramatic point of view. The story symbolizes the aftermath of war by narrating a dramatic point of view. The old man uh, the old man, men, women and children are escaping to the other town because they are the victims of war. The narrator allows the pain, the voiceless and the hopeless to speak through the old man as uh, as he presents the victim, victims of war. So uh, the theme, uh, I have already told you that uh, it was to be discussed after the story but in order to understand the story better and in order to enjoy the story, uh, we will be discussing uh, this theme uh, before we go into the text of the story. So, sporting theme is here. Sporting theme is the theme that needs to be confirmed by analysis of the plot, character, setting, imagery, and sound features, and style. All the elements should be explainable to support the central idea of the work. This story is क्यों लिखी गई है इसका बैकग्राउंड क्या है कौन से इमेजेस कौन से सिंबल्स और कौन सी सेटिंग यहां पे इस्तेमाल हुए हैं कौन से कैरेक्टर्स यहां पे इस्तेमाल हुए हैं वो सब उनको मिलाकर एक हमें फिर एक जिस्ट मिलता है एक निचोड़ मिलता है कि इसमें सेंट्रल आइडिया क्या है और इसमें थीम क्या है the old man at the bridge is using sporting and applied theme because to make the story clear, uh, clearer, we make analysis of the plot, characters, setting, imagery, sound features and style. For example, if there is no setting in this story, we would not uh, know why the old man left his farm and animals. If there is setting at the backdrop of the Spanish Civil War, then we don't know why the उसने अपने पीछे जो उसका फॉर्म है या उसके पेट एनिमल्स है वो उसने क्यों छोड़े वहां पे विदाउट इमेजरी वी वुड नॉट अंडरस्टैंड द मीनिंग्स ऑफ ईच एनिमल द ओल्ड मैन एट द ब्रिज लेफ्ट द रीडर्स टू थिंक एंड ड्रॉन देयर ओन कंक्लूजन अगेन ये आप तक है आप पे डिपेंड है कि हाउ डू यू इंटरप्रेट द होल स्टोरी एंड हाउ डू यू द हाउ डू यू इंटरप्रेट ईच सिंबल एंड इमेजरी दैट्स बीइंग यूज्ड इन द स्टोरी द मोरल ऑफ द स्टोरी इज हिडन इन द एक्शंस करेक्टर सेटिंग एंड लैंग्वेज ऑफ द स्टोरी तो जो पूरा एक इसका एक एक लार्ज डायग्राम है इसको हम जब हम बिट्स को कंपाइल करते हैं कंपोज करते हैं और एक डिस्टेंट लुक डिस्टेंट पे बैठ के इस पे नजर डालेंगे तो तभी जाके हमें इस स्टोरी का जो निचोड़ है वो समझ आ जाएगा तो मोटे मोटे अल्फाजों में मैं ये कहूँगा इट्स अबाउट द वॉर इट्स अबाउट द डिवेस्टेशन ऑफ वॉर इट्स अबाउट द नेगेटिव इम्पैक्ट्स ऑफ द वॉर अपॉन मैन वीमेन चिल्ड्रन ऑन द प्लांट्स ऑन द एनिमल्स एंड ऑन अपॉन द एनवायरमेंट एट लॉर्ज सो Again, uh, we have two towns here, San Carlos. If you see here, this is San Carlos that's uh, being used in the story. And we have Ebro, Spain. And these two towns I'll be telling you later in the. And then there's mention of Barcelona also in the story. Uh, that will be discussed in the story itself. So. Uh, as I already told you, we know much about the war, what are its effects, and how does it uh, uh, how does it uh, affect negatively on the economics of the nation or uh, on the demography of the nation also. But enough has already been uh, uh, said and discussed about the after effects of the war upon human civilization and environment. But somehow all the literature I've written never quite do justice to the atrocities that actually happened. जो मिस होता है हर एक जो चाहे वॉर वॉर लिटरेचर पीस हो वेदर इट्स ए नावल और ए शॉर्ट स्टोरी और ए ड्रामा और ए पोएम वहाँ पे वेर ए जनरेशन हु इज ऑल अवेयर ऑफ द ब्लड शेड एंड कॉनेज दैट द वॉर्स लेट टू ये हमें हम इस चीज़ से बखूबी वाकिफ है सीरिया में देखा होगा अफगान में देखा होगा आपने 
या अदर कंट्रीज में देखा होगा कि वार क्या करता है बट हु शल डिस्कस अबाउट द मेंटल डिस्क्रिपेंसीज इट गिव बर्थ टू अमंग इट्स न्यूमरस विक्टम्स लिटरेचर इज रिप्लीट रिप्लीट विद सच इंस्टेंसेस ऑफ एलिनेशन यहां पे सॉरी the alienation and existential issues that the wars were responsible for in the story of the old man at the bridge is one of them this is all for today i'll uh, with next video i'll be coming with next video in that video will uh, go straight into the text of the poem till then thank you take care allah hafiz